Hi, this is Mike Larson for Money and Markets TV. In case you haven't noticed, central banks around the world have been engaged in one of the largest coordinated interventions in history. The European Central Bank, the Bank of Japan, the Bank of England, and the U.S. Federal Reserve have all committed to a campaign of printing euros, yen, pounds, and dollars to boost asset prices. And that has succeeded in pumping up stocks, bond prices, and most commodities. In fact, it's no coincidence that the rally started in earnest in December, right after the ECB executed the first of its two long-term refinancing operations, a backdoor way of money printing. But over the past week or so, the script has actually flipped, and the markets have started giving up their big gains. So what happened? The real economy got in the way. Starting in Asia, Chinese Premier Wen Jiabao slashed his country's economic growth target to 7.5%. Now that's great by Western standards, but it represents a major downturn for the Chinese economy, and would actually be the worst performance in 22 years. Meanwhile, Indian GDP expanded by just 6.1% in the fourth quarter, which was below expectations and the slowest reading in more than two years. And Brazil's economy grew just 2.7% last year, its worst performance since 2003. Then there's Europe. It actually shrank by three-tenths of a percent in the fourth quarter, the biggest drop for the European economy since 2009. And despite all the money printing by the ECB, we saw weakness across the board. Exports, household spending, and investment were all negative. Now here in the United States, we've actually managed to keep our heads above water, so far. Employers added 227,000 jobs last month, after an increase of 284,000 in January. In addition, the latest reading on the services sector came in hot, and confidence has been fairly robust. But gasoline prices are now breaking through the $4 a gallon mark in parts of the country, and we're seeing new signs that the housing market's recent pop may be fizzling out again. So can we really expect the good news to continue, especially with emerging market growth slowing down and Europe in recession? Not likely as far as I'm concerned. Now I've played along with the easy money trade in my services and have had some success. The question now is how much longer can it last? Are we reaching the point where the real world is going to intrude on the central bank fantasy land we've been living in? Only time will tell. So for, but for now, I recommend you continue to stick with targeted investments that can do well in any environment. But also, please maintain hedges because we know from past experience what happens when the money printing effect wears off. I'm Mike Larson for Money and Markets TV. Thanks for watching.